that you're going to make an infographic about facts about Lamore High School. So here are a bunch of numbers with some facts about Lamore High School. So you have a slideshow here. And eventually when we're done, we're going to just have one slide when you're done. We're just going to have one slide when you're done. So let's go see. It says you need a title for the infographic. Create it as some stylized pretty word art. So let's go back to slide one. Insert word art. And I would go with Lamar High School Facts. Stylize it, make it pretty, add some color. You can always change the color later. So originally I was going with like a cursive scripty font, but those are really, really hard to read. You're better off with something that's a little more factual, straightforward than that. Again, if you don't like the word facts, feel free to change it. Again, you can colorize it later. Only images from the board are this slide. No Google image searches. So you'll see are on the sides are the exact same pictures that you can see here on slide two. The exact same pictures you can see here on slide two. You need five numbers with five facts. Okay. Well, I've got the facts for you on this page here. I may add more throughout the day. I'm not sure which. So you need five numbers and five, so in five facts. So whatever grade you're in. So if you're a freshman, you're going to go with that one. If you're a sophomore, you're going to go with that one, of course. So what do you do? You type a number. So let's go get another word art. So insert word art. I forgot my number already. Uh, 484. Remember, when you make word art, it makes a little image box. Feel free to change the fonts, make it prettier. Change the fonts, make it prettier. Okay, so there's my big font. So this is called a Number Mania infographic. So we've got a big font. So now I need to include the text. So I'm going to add a small text box. And what was my text? 484. That's the number of current freshmen. So I'm going to rename it something like freshman at LHS. Go with a bigger font. And then move it around so they look like they go together. And that's it for this particular one. So go add another fact. I would actually recommend to keep things consistent. I'm going to select both of those two, and I'm going to control D to duplicate. Again, control D to duplicate. And again, we're just playing around here. So another fact I'm going to use, and you don't have to use the same facts I am. I'm going to do 91, and there are 91 teachers at LHS. So again, as long as your text goes with the numbers, that's what we're going for. So again, we could even put it up here. We can move things around, stylize them so they look like they go together better. You decide on your five facts. So when you're done, my recommendation would be to make these text boxes fit the actual size of the text. Maybe even have them be centered. But that way, when you're moving them around, you can tell when they actually are centered on the numbers. So your job is to now go through and make the numbers look good. Maybe make them a little smaller, a little bigger. That's your choice. When you're done, it says you need five numbers with five facts. We did that. Add color and background last. Your job is to get pictures from the borders. So any of these pictures that are on the border that you like, grab them and add them to this info. So yours should probably have smaller numbers so things look a little less confusing. But for right now, we're just going to go with this as my sample. As far as the background goes, add some sort of a background, preferably just, just a color or a gradient, no images. So color, gradient, no images. If you want to go with the purple for school, you want to go with another color gradient, that's totally up to you. When you're done and you've copied every one of these things, click on the slide two and delete it. And that's your assignment. Turn it in. This is the example of how to make a slides mania infographic about facts about Lamore High School.